First Blend College is growing so much that it needs another campus in Bryan. Today, Blend announced the purchase of 94 acres. That's more than 80 football fields to help with that growth. KXHC News reporter Char Parker shows us why the Blinn Board of Trustees says today's $3.8 million purchase will allow the school to develop more courses and expand its workforce education programs. Blinn College will soon have a new footprint in Brazos County. The Blinn College Board and staff have worked tirelessly over the past two years at least to find what we consider to be the best location for that new footprint. On Thursday, Blaine College Board of Trustees announced the purchase of 94 acres in the southwest corner of FM 2818 and Leonard Road. This past fall, Blaine had its largest enrollment in 131 years with just under 20,000 students across the four campuses, with the Bryan campus housing the majority of those students. It's one of the reasons why board members say a new campus was needed sooner rather than later. One of the things that we've experienced on this campus is really the need for additional lab space. So that drives part of what we're looking for in the new facility. Here off 2818 is where the new Blinn College will stand as early as 2017. One of the highlights of this location was simply the access to state highways instead of students crowding city streets. We know that there's going to have to be additional ingress and egress that's created, so we're going to work closely with TxDOT and the City of Bryan on doing that. New roads are just a part of the development that will happen on the west side of Bryan. Mayor Jason Bayinski expects Blinn's new campus to help spur other types of growth as well. Yeah, we are excited about the future development. Uh, new retail centers, new restaurants that are much needed on the west side of Bryan, uh, new residential opportunities uh, that will uh, uh, flourish uh, because of this new large campus. In Bryant, Tashara Parker, KX HD News. The college plans to break ground this year in hopes of opening the new facility during the 2017 school year.